Hey gang, uh, Diana here today and I'm going to uh, do a little demo with a new product I've been trying out called Texture Paste and I I want to say it's a lot like all of these other grounds, dimensional grounds and I think I have a few other of them. It just changes the surface of your paper and in, in, let's, let's have a look. So I've got a, a uh, palette knife here. I've got a square page that I'm going to make into a scrapbook page, but not today because I'm going to let this dry. So you basically just want to scoop up some of this onto your palette knife. And I have, um, I have this Tim Holtz stencil here, and I'm just going to sort of force it into the through the stencil. So you want to put it on pretty good and then scrape it off. And uh, so you wind up using very little of the product. So you won't be able to see it when I lift this up. Or you, yes, you can because of course, <laughs> of course my paper was not, my stencil was not clean. But um, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And in fact, I'm going to put that back into my drawer and I might lift some of this up a little bit and just sort of grunge it up a little bit more. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more right here. So it's fairly plastic in terms of how you can use it. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside to dry and in another video I will um, come back with this when I do uh, my first on-air scrapbook page. So I've got this, uh, these are stencils from Stencil Girl, um, actually these are from Stencil Girl, they're uh, this stencil, I'll link below and um, this, this one, I love both of these. And um, th this one over here is one of um, Julie Fife and Balzer's, uh, but I'll link them below. I have my big fat brush and I have my watercolors and we're going to take a look at this. This has been dried and it was pretty easy to do. I simply masked off. I put some post-it note here and here on this stencil to get a neat um, area so I didn't overdo it. Which again, you can always go in and scrape things off a little bit. So let's just do real quick here. Let's put a little blue sky back here. And, and you're gonna see how the difference between the way the <clears throat> area that has been treated with the texture paste will pick this up in a different way. I'm just using some ultramarine blue here and I'm going to go over this again. Let me get a quick coat of paint down and I'm going to dry that and then we'll uh, do a little bit more. Okay, so let's just do that. Let me give this a quick dry Oh no, you know what I'm going to do this bottom area too. What color should I do this? I wish you could answer me. <laughs> answer me down in the <laughs> answer me down in the comments. What color would you have done <laughs> this down in the comments? <laughs> what color would you have used? And of course the problem with doing this, ooh, that's nice. That is core. No, it's not. It must be I'll try to figure out what color it is. It's a, it's an earthy green, light earthy olive. It's probably green gold. And let me throw in a little bit of this boho too. And then I'm going to dry it so I can do another layer. Okay, I'm going to dry it with my heat gun and be right back. Okay, now that's dry and you can see how much lighter watercolors get when they dry. So I'm going to go back in here with some stronger color and I think I'm actually going to need to talk to you about this brush. It's Escada. Um, 
It's a 22, and it is, um, I invested in it. It was actually uh, on a sale in my local art supply store. It is fabulous. It's kind of changed my life. Well, maybe a little dramatic there, but... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, I think I'll add another sort of swath of color to some of these, this bottom area at least and um, see, oh, here comes some yellow from that other page. You know how I feel about yellow. If it, if it stinks, add some yellow. Um, oh, and gold maybe. So I did another drawing with the heat gun and I do recommend a heat gun um, or if you're impatient, um, really moves things along when you're using watercolor. Uh, one thing I do like to do and is, uh, you know, you want to sit down for a session sort of and get into it. But I got some cool effects with this and I really thought this paste, this texture paste, and it's a Ranger product, um, would react like other, uh, like Gesso did. Let me show you. I did get some awesome effects with this. And I've got a nice start to my journal page here. And I want to add some, I just wanted to add, see what happened if I added some brown here, make this more like massive flowers okay so um, just for the sake of comparison let me show you the page I used the gesso on or was it oh, it was matte medium it was matte medium I used in fact the same exact stencil and matte medium and you can see the way um, that reacted with the paint this was acrylic paint but the same reaction I've done the same thing with with watercolors, the difference with the watercolor is it's going to wipe off of this area easier. So yeah, I would try them both. They both give you really great effects. And I also have this core uh, light dimensional ground. I, I have another uh, light dimensional ground and I want, there's another texture paste on the market that I'd like to give a try to, but um, this was fun to use. See you soon. Oh, don't forget to uh, like, uh, what is it, like, comment, go over to my blog. I'll list my, the supplies I use down below, you know, all that stuff. Thumbs up. Don't forget to thumbs up me. Bye, guys.